When COVID hit, we were looking around for things as so many people were. And, you know, what could we do? And we started small. We started uh, giving hand sanitizer to bus drivers and starting mask making uh, efforts and all that. And But we realized, of course, that we, we these were Band-Aids and the COVID laid bare how raw uh, the food insecurity issues in our community were. And we felt that we had to do something so much bigger. So picture this, August 2020, right? It's our first distribution. We're in at the rescue squad in the parking lot. We don't know who's going to come or what it's going to look like. And we got 100 families came in. We just were thrilled, excited, overwhelmed. It was um, just something when we just didn't really know what we were doing. But we did know that we were doing something right. And then it started growing. And we every had week. every week we had cars around the block. And down we had the to street. Hire. Yeah. At one point, we had it all the way down to, to uh, downtown, Bethesda. downtown Bethesda. We hired four police officers. The need was that great. People would wait two hours to get food. We thought it well, might last six months or something like that. Um, and here we are two and a half years later. You know, and we were up to weekly serving 640 families. We've moved now to a model where we have people come in by appointment. They come in and they sit with us and they talk to us and we learn more about them and what their needs are because food insecurity is just the tip of the iceberg. Our recipients have become, you know, people that we know by name and we know their stories. We've been working with them and now, and we're really working now into thinking about other services that we can really help them. We also discovered that we were giving people who yearned to be an assistance, to, who yearned to help others, who yearned to care for their neighbor, a place where they could come and do it. And literally, people would walk up to us on the parking lot uh, at the Bethesda Chevy Chase Rescue Squad, where we do the, the, did the food distribution every Friday, they'd say, what are you doing? And when we explained it to them, they were astonished and they said, how can I help? How can I help? And people signed up and they would come and they'd help us pack and distribute food. And we still have many of those early volunteers and many more from other faith communities, from, just from the neighborhood because they liked what was going on there. And that to me was one of the greatest gifts is that we were helping to create disciples in love of neighbor at the same time that we're, we're feeding people. So it's a, a fantastically fulfilling ministry. If I were to leave one thought with anyone listening to this discussion, it would be, don't be afraid. I think that's the thing Jesus said most often in the Bible, do not be afraid. There are times when you have to take a leap of faith, not foolishly, but you have to take a leap of faith. And we did. And if you are moving in the direction the Spirit wants you to go, it will succeed. And it can be a wild ride. <laughs> I got to tell you, this is not faith. When you open that up, it's like a fire hose. And it is exciting, but it's scary. It's like riding a wave. That's it's how scary, I but it's scary, it. but it's, oh, there's nothing like it. Nothing like it, I can tell you. <laughs>